Hi there and welcome to today's class. For today's class, we'll be considering the concept of differentiation. Now, what to note is that differentiation is simply one of the branches of calculus. In this video, we'll be dealing with the different methods of differentiation. But before then, let's understand what differentiation means. Differentiation by definition is simply the change in a parameter or variable with respect to another parameter or another variable. All right. So that's simply um, your definition for differentiation. All right. The change in the parameter or variable with respect to another parameter or another variable. That's your simple definition. All right, so let's say we are given a function f of x being equal to, so f of x simply means a function in terms of x, which could be something like, let's say, 2x plus 3, okay? Now, as you can see, this is a function, and this the variable here is x. So when we say f of x, f of x simply means a function in terms of x, which is what we have here. Now, one thing to note is this, when it comes to differentiation, usually we say f of x is equal to y, all right? Um, usually, in most cases in differentiation, you see that f of x is equal to y. So it's more like saying we use only y to represent f of x. So instead of writing f of x in full, we just write y. Now, let's equate it to what we see above. That means y is equal to 2x plus 3. So we have this. All right, so if this is noted, something else to note is this. Notice that if I differentiate this function, so if I differentiate this, what does it look like? If I differentiate f of x, it looks like this. You write this, it becomes f prime of x. Notice that I call this thing here, this one, I called it a prime. So it's pronounced prime in calculus, all right, or in mathematics in general. So when you see f raised to the power 1, it's called f prime of x, all right? So f prime of x is equal to, so if I differentiate f of x, you have f prime of x. What if you differentiate y with respect to x? What do you get there? It becomes dy all over dx. So this is what you have. So if you're given a function and you're asked to find f prime of x, it means you should differentiate the function. That's it. Also, if you're given y in terms of x and you're asked to find dy over dx, it simply means differentiate y with respect to x. So this is what, um, or this is how we represent differentiation, basically. Let's use something else. Let's say I'm given a function, let's say s in terms of t as being equal to, let's say, t squared minus 7, right? If I differentiate s with respect to t, it's written as s prime of t. So s prime of t means um, differentiating s with respect to t. I can still write s prime of t as equal to, since I'm differentiating s here with respect to t, or t squared in this case, of course, with, with respect to t here, all right, it is written as ds all over dt. So I have this. All right, so this is how we represent differentiation, okay? So if you see dt s over dt, it means this variable here or this function s is changing with respect to the denominator here, which is t. So it's written as ds over dt. Also, when you see dy over ds, dy over dx here, it means y, which is usually the numerator, is changing with respect to x, which is the denominator. All right, so this is what, um, or this is how differentiation is represented basically. Now, having considered this, let's now look at the different methods of solving problems involving differentiation. All right, so let's consider the methods of differentiation. So what are the methods in solving problems involving differentiation? The first method is called the general, the general, also called the par method. That's your first method of solving problems in differentiation. The second method is called the first principle. So we have a method called the first principle method. 
okay the third method is called the chain rule the chain rule chain rule is also called function of a function or the function of several fun functions okay so chain rule is called function of a function or the function of several functions after chain rule we also have a method called the product rule we have a product rule method for differentiation after product rule next up is quotient rule okay so after quotient rule the last thing you have that's called implicit differentiation it's not always talked about but it, it exists right the last one is called implicit differentiation all right so these are like the different methods of solving problems on differentiation right general or the power method the first principle method the chain rule also called function of a function or function of several functions you have the product rule you have the quotient rule and you also have implicit differentiation all right so these are like the methods of um, solving problems on differentiation and you may want to ask why do we have so many methods in solving a problem or just one problem differentiation and the answer is this that some methods are unique for certain kind of problems all right so there's some questions that you can only solve using let's say the um, implicit differentiation okay there's some problems that you cannot solve using general or power method they exist so at that point you have to now employ probably chain rule or product rule all right so that's like the concept that's why we have different methods each of the method have their unique um, role to play when it comes to differentiation all right so having said this for this lesson we will co we'll be considering just the first method which is a general or the power method